What is going on everybody? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to an unboxing of a GTX 760, not a 650 Ti. This is actually going to be the car that we're replacing today in the GeForce GTX 650 Ti and it's the super super clock edition. Um, this card right here has actually gotten me through uh, quite a bit of decent gameplay. Uh, Battlefield with a mixture of kind of low and medium settings. Uh, Arma 3, pretty much the same. Uh, Skyrim, it's able to handle high settings very well. Uh, so I do suggest this card to anybody that's looking for a decent, like, low-range video, or, yeah, like, low, low-budget video card, pretty much. Um, it's not going to be able to play everything on ultra-high settings, but it will get the job done, I assure you of that. Alright, so as we're going over the unboxing here, just to let you guys know a few of the key features on this video card, it's got uh, NVIDIA TXAA technology, it has NVIDIA GPU Boost uh, 2.0, it's got PhysX technology, FXAA technology, adaptive vertical sync, uh, NVIDIA Surround, it supports up to four displays, uh, two dual link DVI connectors, a HDMI, and a DisplayPort 1.2. Uh, let's see, as far as capability, the card is capable of uh, DirectX 11.1. Uh, let's see, it's got uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision, SLI ready, uh, CUDA technology, uh, NVIDIA Shield ready, and quite a few other things. And now that we have our unboxing out of the way, we can actually start to get into some of the stuff that comes with the video card itself. Uh, just like I, you know, like I said earlier, these are two different size of cards. Or I don't know if I said that earlier, actually. Well, these are actually, you know, two different sizes of cards. And as you can tell right there with the boxes, uh, one, the GTX 760 is quite bigger than the 650 Ti. Uh, so here's your basic uh, owner's manual kind of guide thing. Uh, driver disc with a little case badge. Uh, do not install these drivers. Just go to the EV. A website and or the NVIDIA website rather and just get those drivers uh, let's see what do we have here some basic ads and shit like that for uh, power supplies by EVGA I'm not exactly sure why I would try out an EVGA power supply maybe they're good I don't know uh, an important notice that's trash that's trash uh, some stickers for people who like to put stickers on their computer. Uh, I, I don't mind them, but I don't think I would ever put these two on there. Uh, you get a white one and a black one. These are not, however, the ones that I thought that I was going to get. Uh, not really bummed out by it, but whatever. Uh, here's some cords for the uh, power supply to the video card, actually. And let's see, was there anything else? Uh... See, went over the stickers, went over this stupid little manual. Uh, yep, here's a uh, DVI adapter, DVI to VGA adapter. And I'm having a little bit of trouble opening it. Anyways, as you guys can see, it's right there. Um, and like I said, these are the cords that go from the power supply to the video card. If you guys don't have those with your power supply, I'm just opening them right now so I can show you guys. Get my trusty scissors out. Give me just a second and admire the bobbleheads in the background. There we go. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see, I don't. I don't really think I will use this cord. I think I got some cords that came with my power supply, so probably won't end up using these. But anyways, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let's open this. All right, and this is the uh, DVI to VGA adapter. Is it DVI? VGA. DVI. Yeah, you, you, you basically get the point, right? Alright, so <clears throat> I think now we've gone over... Nope, I got some more cords, I think, that I'm going to be taking out of the bag here. Alright. Yep, there's uh, the Molex to 6-pin, uh, I believe that is. Yeah, 6-pin. Uh, Molex. Uh, you just hook those up to your power supply and hook the other end up to your uh, video card, I believe. 
probably won't end up using those either, though. I mean, they came with some pretty nice sleeved cables, but... Like I said, any of this shit right here, I probably won't end up using. The only thing that I probably will use is this little baby. Oh, look at it. In all of its glory. Let me get that plastic off there. Oh my god. This thing is amazing. I'm a little bit of trouble with the plastic. Probably gonna end up having to mute the video because the video is not being done on a real camera, it's being done on a fucking phone. But it's okay. The camera will come later this year, but look at this beast. This thing, this thing is beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, so you, you want to make sure you take all the plastic off because there is a bunch of fucking plastic on this thing. So, uh, the main plastic you'll be able to see, and there's little pieces of plastic on the fins, and also on these little silver parts right here. But anyways, this is pretty much the unboxing. I mean, there's really not too much to an unboxing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into the benchmarks and all this kind of shit. Uh, we're going to be doing a few games. We're going to be doing Battlefield 4. We're going to be doing Skyrim. And it's going to be good. All right, so now you guys see me playing Battlefield 4. And as you guys can see, the, all the settings are on Ultra. And if you look in the bottom center of the screen, you'll actually see the frame rates. This is a program called Action. And we're hanging around the mid-20s right now. Now, like I said earlier, I have to play on a... Normally, I would have to play on a mixture of, like, low, medium, and a couple of high settings. And I normally get anywhere between, you know, 35 and 42, I would say, frames a second. But uh, in the course of this video, we actually hit 30 right there. We actually get up to 31 here in a minute. But if you're wanting to play on anything, you know, just a basic ultra setting or high setting... You're gonna get frame drops like this with a 650Ti. I mean, it's just how it is. So we're gonna go ahead and compare this to the GTX 760. And now here we are again playing Battlefield 4 on ultra settings and we are getting over 60 frames a second. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more stuff going on. We dipped down to about 49 right there, 46. I have to say that this is a much, much needed improvement. Uh, as far as video card is, or as far as a video card is concerned for this game at least. Uh, I mean, the frames do not lie. And it, I mean, if you guys are wondering, the, uh, the snow even, as you guys can see right here, looks beautiful. And we're getting really good frames here as well. Alright, so now the next test we're going to be doing is our Skyrim test, and I tried to cut both of these around the same point, but uh, the frames are actually in the top uh, right corner. Uh, right now we're in the mid-30s, we're now in the low 40s, we're sticking around there in between 35 and 40 it looks like, and I chose this to look this direction because this is where the frame rate decreased the most then we just dropped down to 29 um let's see i don't think it goes any lower from 29 actually and this is pretty much going to be the same scene that we're going to watch with both and keep in mind yeah right there is 28 27 uh but yeah keep keep in mind that this is to the 650 ti which you guys are seeing right now 29 and we're going back up in frames, but normally when you look up at the sky in a game, your frames go way the fuck up. So now we're comparing our Skyrim scene to the uh, 750Ti, or the 650Ti rather. And we are hanging around the mid-50s right now. Um, low 50s, high 50s, so I would say between 50 and 60 right now. Uh, let's see... Things are starting to get, all right, low, low 50s and now low 40s, now low 30, or uh, high 30s, I should say. Everything's still staying above 30, 
33, I believe. Nope, now it's 31. Okay. Well, everything's still staying above 32 frames a second, which is what we wanted to begin with. And Ultra on Skyrim is pretty pretty intense, and this is no mods either. See, the frames went up when you look at the sky. So keep that in mind if you want your frames to go up. Just look at the sky. Just play that way. Now, unfortunately, I did want to use a uh, an actual benchmarking utility like the Heaven Benchmarker, but I realized that the recording that I thought I made when I had my 650Ti uh, actually installed in my computer, um, I thought I had a recording of it, but apparently I didn't. But what you guys are seeing now is a little bit of the recording from the benchmarking that I did with the 760. And as you guys can see, the 760 cuts through this fucking benchmark program like butter. I mean, this is definitely a huge, huge upgrade for me. And I cannot say enough good things about this card. Uh, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with these guys, EBGA or NVIDIA. And, you know, I'm gonna fucking preach to the stars about these guys all day. Um, I've pretty much only use EVGA cards as a matter of fact I think for the past couple of years but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and benchmark comparison uh, you know like I said 650 Ti uh, the super super clocked edition at least uh, it's still a good video card for the price but I really wouldn't suggest uh, buying it if you have the extra money to spend I would definitely spend on a 760 you know, if you only have enough to get the 650Ti, go ahead and get the 650Ti, but the 760 uh, Super Clocked Edition, especially the one from EVGA, it's got that nice cooler on it and everything. I would definitely suggest buying that if you have the extra money to spend. Uh, I believe I got it, it was on sale for about 250 on Amazon, but I think it went back up to about 280 so anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and benchmark comparisons. If you did, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comments section down below. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.